Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Yep. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Revelio. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. So Thank cool you, by here. the way. Of course. Pitch. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? Nice. That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything. That's where we're going, the Hogsmeade. Detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Revelio! <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. <laughs> So, how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. What? This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Okay. Health, I'm assuming. Revelio. Like right here, too. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly yeah. don't see that every day. Rebellion. This. Keeping so so full caps. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Yeah, I don't trust ah, them yet. You can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. <sighs> have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is yeah. that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Revelio. One day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? <gasps> you still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Hey. Accio. Levioso. Lumos. Reparo. I don't know how the 
What do you do that yet? Action. That's not. Gather as many as I can. Revelio. Yeah, that looks so cool. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose like, most people don't actually like. see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself first time too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully yeah. the rest of your year isn't as eventful. There. Hang on. Akio. Who's down? Restante. Uh, every cat in this game. Revelio. Hey, what's this sign? Sorry. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Why? Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Huh? A Demi, guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, and he's obviously had too much of it. I've yeah. never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Akio. Might as well collect the one out here. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Hi. Welcome to Hogsmeade, baby. Poor Diagon Alley. Honestly, Revelio bottle the magic of this place. I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes. Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Hey. <gasps> Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmead. Uh, Hogsmead Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest. Those, those and points fishress to track. Okay. Is it tomes and scrolls, olivanders, potions, and magic deep? Okay. Midday school uniform. 
Revelio. An inquiring mind. Hello, Thomas. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. Nice to meet you, Mr. I take Brown. it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. Ah, gotcha. That makes sense. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you Our need. Customization. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Okay. Flexibility to conjure a small potion station. All the potion needs. And small pot spellcraft. Ability to conjure a potting table, small pots. Magic if plants. you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. This is what I have. I don't need any of this stuff. Beast, toy box, spellcraft, chopping, dung, potting table, large. Okay. Revelio. My mother is so Sorry. How do I get there? Hairstyles, beads, tea shop, central square, fudge, okay. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna go to the broom shop. be right with ah it's you um just a moment please uh, mm. hello sir i'm looking for for a new wand yes it's about time yes uh, about time well you're our new fifth year student are you not oh what am i saying of course you are gerbold olivander's the name but of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Mm hmm. How oh. odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Uh, that's what's happened. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Third time's a charm, baby. Here, take it. Finalize wand. Oh, I can. Ch oh, wow. How intriguing. Um, dark brown. I like the warm brown. Any brown? No. Curious indeed. Change the variations. How intriguing. To a black wand. Curious indeed. Do, do uh, ten and a quarter inches. You saw it. indeed. Curious indeed. Oh no. How intriguing. 
intriguing. Dragon Heartstrings that serves as the core of the one known for team power for magic. Half of the unicorn that serves the core. Constant. Like the Phoenix. Ah, Phoenix Feather. Exceptionally rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative. About ten and a half inches. Ten and three quarter. I don't know. Curious indeed. They're all good wands. I, I don't know. How intriguing. I just did a classic black. Curious indeed. Spiral. Intriguing. Do a chestnut. I like this handle. Curious indeed. Oh. How intriguing. It'll be different. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the spiral one. Curious indeed. Nine and a half inches. How intriguing. I only 14 and a half inches. Ten and a half inches. Ten and three quarters inches is pretty good. Uh, ten and a half. Curious indeed. I like it. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sense a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance.
Nice. We fire defense now. Let's go. We just got our wand, now we're gonna go keep exploring. Sticks. Peter Rivet gloves. More money. Rebellion. It's level one. Try to visit this place. Where this place is. Revelio. Like a little fun, Tempus in a bottle. Oh no. place and then we'll do potions and then magic meat. Madam Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. No. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly, why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed Nelly. them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry, and I'm here thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? 
Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. What services do you offer? Yeah, let's see what you offer. What is it you might be interested in? Okay, so I can't change my eyes. I thought I could. Okay. Hey, you can change your appearance at any time, pretty much. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let me see, uh... What is it you might be interested in? Can I, like, zoom my character out? Kinda like my hair that I had. And no, now you can do that. Um. Okay, we need to go pit pop it or pit potion. Welcome to J. Pippin's potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, when I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. J. Potions Pippin for potions. all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, yes, sir. let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Getting my supplies, receive a healing potion. Receive a potion that cures a rocky film to develop. Humor skin. It doesn't harm. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. I don't think I can buy or anything. Come back another time if you're in a rush today. Okay, so these are A to use potions. That makes sense. Um. Try to buy like one of everything. 
Thunder Brew. The invisibility potion. The drinker turns invisible. Nice. Rebellion. Oh, nice. I didn't need to buy that. Wait. Hard paper. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your business. scarf than the one I have? No. Magic Neep. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Oh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Nice. Revelio. Oh, that's Let not me guess. what I wanted. No, You're after no, no, something no, no. fresh. Nice. Got it. We're quite fortunate. Revelio. last two if I can. Revelio. Mm -hmm. 
Lumos. Rebellion. Chores aren't so bad. I don't mind the odd one. Lumos. Okay. It's over here. Yes, sir. That rank up? Nope. That's because you know me. <laughs> Revelio. Repairo. Revelio. Levioso. Lumos. Protego. Levioso. Lumos. I don't know how to get that. Revelio. Repairo. Accio. Levioso. All right, one more thing on this chest. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Revelio. A straw sun hat. Statue of Hufflepuff Ice against Woodcraft, the leader of the founder of the village, Hogsmeade. Nice. I think I'm in the center. What are you up to now? I have all the food flames. I'm going to wait for that. Those cheap prankster hat and heist, dude. Okay. Headwear. I can equip it, but I can do this. He's right here. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. I got a 
pause. What fire? Draw it away from the building! Away from the village! I, I, thought, I love how like in court mode they have to pause. Dodge. Oh, there's a dodge. Okay, nice. I know this is a very important part. Armor troll, I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Protego! Levioso! Akio! Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it! I did we'll not mean to do that. Eventually. Levioso! I don't think Levioso works, buddy. Taste of his own medicine. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Nicely done. Using the environment. Ah. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Okay. Repair the damage. Oh, oh, now we... Okay, I see. Repair it. Uh, Good I'll go and see what you want. Nice. There's a food flame over here. I already get that. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Akio! Levioso! Akio! Nice to see you, my young friend. Repairer. Page go. Accio. Nice. Where's the uh, other damage at? Huh. 
Uh. Repair. Oh, okay. nice. Where I could do that. Hey, there's one more thing. Over here. Speak to the shopkeeper. Revelio. Battle rags was aware. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizardware, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Oh, I got you, I got you. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Well, thanks, sir. I Thank you, it. Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Personal school robe. Two piece of gear. Time to equip it. Ron, I am cute goggles. What the what? Not bad. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Rebellion battle worthy items. Should you be Most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. I'll take a time. How do I open this chest? Rebellion. A new enemy. A new hat.
Revelio. Okay. Come on, Smash, let's go get some butter beer. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Gotcha. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Yikes. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Oh dear. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Revelio! Anything else in here?
You can't imagine how inconvenient All right, let's go back to the castle. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. True. Let's return to your common room for the night. Access the map. Get the Hogwarts map. Fast travel to my common room. Common room. 